In this video, we're going to start the CUDA software Infinite Algebra 1 free worksheet, The Distance Formula. Our directions are to find the distance between each pair of points. So let's say that we have two points in a coordinate system. The distance formula will help us find the distance between those two points. So the straight line that connects those two points, the length of that line, that's going to be D, the distance. And the way we're going to find that, we're going to use a right triangle. And remembering the Pythagorean theorem, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So let's label one side a, one side b, and that distance d is equivalent to c. So our distance d, which is c, will equal the square root of a squared plus b squared. What I did, I just took the square root of both sides, the square root of c squared, and the square root of a squared plus b squared. Now how exactly do we find a and b in order to get that distance? Well if you notice, a is the change in x values from one point to the other point, and b is the change in y values. So a will be equal to x2 minus x1, and b will be equal to y2 minus y1. The change in x and the change in y. So our distance d is equal to the square root of a squared x2 minus x1 squared plus b squared, which is y2 minus y1 squared. So the change in x values and the change in y values. So if you have trouble remembering this distance formula, just refer back to the Pythagorean theorem. But let's get started with number one. And number one, we'll have x1, y1, x2, and y2. Rewriting the distance formula, remember distance d is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1, that quantity squared, plus y2 minus y1, and that quantity squared. So we're just going to plug in the numbers to solve for d x2 is negative 1, so we'll have negative 1 minus x1, which is 7, that quantity squared, plus y2, which is negative 4, minus y1, which is 3, and then that quantity squared. So our distance d is going to equal the square root of negative 1 minus 7, it's going to be a negative 8, squared, plus negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7, and then that quantity squared. So our distance d is going to equal the square root of negative 8 squared will be a positive 64 plus negative 7 squared is a positive 49. So our distance d is the square root of 64 plus 49. So that's the square root of 113. And there's not a perfect square that's a factor of 113. Therefore, it cannot be simplified any further. So the square root of 113 is the distance between 7, 3, and negative 1, negative 4. And quickly, I want to note that you also could have labeled 7, 3 as x2, y2, and negative 1, negative 4 as x1, y1. Just make sure you're subtracting those coordinates in the same order. Continuing on to number 2, again, I'll rewrite that distance formula. Also note, because this is addition between those two terms, you could also have y2 minus y1 squared before x2 minus x1 squared because the order in which you add does not matter. So for number two, let's make our first coordinate x2, y2, and our second coordinate x1, y1. So for our distance formula, d is going to be equal to the square root of x2, we said was 3, minus x1 is minus a negative 3, so plus a positive 3 squared, plus y2, which is negative 5, minus y1, which is 0, and that quantity squared. So we'll have the square root of 3 plus 3 squared, which is 6 squared, plus negative 5 minus 0, which is negative 5 squared. So we're going to have the square root of 6 squared plus negative 5 squared. That's going to be 36 plus a positive 25. So our distance d in number 2 is the square root of 36 plus 25, which equals 61. And that radical is in simplest form. And number three, x1, y1, 
x2, y2. So for my distance formula d, I'll have d equal to the square root of x2 minus x1, 3 minus 6 squared, plus y2 minus y1, negative 5 minus a negative 7, so that's plus a positive 7, squared. So that's going to be equal to the square root of 3 minus 6 is negative 3 squared, plus negative 5 plus 7 is a positive 2 squared. So for number 3, we'll have the square root of negative 3 squared, which is 9, plus 2 squared, which is 4. So the square root of 9 plus 4 is the square root of 13. That's our solution in number 3. In number 4, x1, y1, x2, y2. Distance d is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1, so 5 minus 5 squared, plus y2 minus y1 squared, negative 6 minus 1 squared. 5 minus 5 is 0, so we'll have 0 squared plus negative 6 minus 1 is a negative 7 squared. Now 0 squared is simply 0, so we'll have 0 plus negative 7 squared, which is 49. That's going to be equal to the square root of 49, which 49 is a perfect square. So the square root of 49 is 7. So 7 is our solution in number 4. And number 5 x1, y1, x2, and y2. Our distance d is equal to x2 minus x1 squared, so that's negative 8 minus 5 squared, plus y2 minus y1 squared, which is 6 minus negative 8, which is 6 plus 8 squared. So that's going to be equal to the square root of negative 8 minus 5, which is negative 13 squared, plus 6 plus 8, which is 14 squared. Negative 13 squared is a positive 169, and 14 squared is a positive 196. So we'll have the square root of 169 plus 196, which is equal to the square root of 365. Continuing on to number six, x1, y1 will be four, six, and x2, y2 will be negative four, negative three. So our distance d equals the square root of x2 minus x1, which is negative four minus four squared, plus y2 minus y1, which is negative three minus six squared. So that's equal to the square root of negative four minus four is a negative eight squared, plus negative three minus six is a negative nine squared. So we'll have the square root of negative 8 squared, which is 64, plus negative 9 squared, which is 81. 64 plus 81 is 145. So for number 6, we'll have the square root of 145. For number 7, x1, y1, x2, y2. Distance is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1, negative 2 minus a negative 7, so plus 7 squared, plus y2 minus y1, which is negative 4 minus 0 squared. Negative 2 plus 7 equals a positive 5, so 5 squared plus negative 4 minus 0 is a negative 4 squared. 5 squared is 25, and we're going to be adding that to negative 4 squared, which is a positive 16, and then taking the square root of that quantity. 25 plus 16 equals 41. So the square root of 41 is the distance between our two points in number seven. In number eight, I'll switch it up and use the first coordinate as x2, y2, and the second coordinate as x1, y1. So our distance d equals the square root of x2 minus x1, which is negative four minus one squared, plus y2 minus y1, which is negative three minus four squared. So that's going to be equal to negative four minus one, which is a negative five squared, plus negative three minus four, which is a negative seven squared. Negative five squared is a positive 25, and then we're going to be adding that to negative seven squared, which is a positive 49. So we'll have the square root of 25 plus 49, which is the square root of 74.
continuing on to number 9, x1 will be negative 2, y1 will be 2, x2 negative 6, y2 negative 8. So our distance equals the square root of x2 minus x1, negative 6 minus a negative 2, so plus a positive 2, squared, plus y2 minus y1, negative 8 minus 2, squared. Negative 6 plus 2 is a negative 4, so we're going to be squaring negative 4 and then adding that to negative 8 minus 2, which is negative 10, and then squared. So we'll have the square root of negative 4 squared, which is 16 plus negative 10 squared, which is 100. So at number 9, we'll have the square root of 116. However, there's a perfect square that's a factor of 116. It can be written as 4 times 29, which 4 is our perfect square of 2 squared, so 2 squared times 29 equals 116. So I'm going to rewrite the square root of 116 as the square root of 2 squared times 29. So within that radical, I'll be able to pull out a 2, so our solution will be 2 times the square root of 29. And then lastly in this video, I'll go over number 10. However, before I go over the answer to this, please click that like button and subscribe to my channel. All likes and subscriptions are greatly appreciated and just let me know that you're finding these videos useful. So go ahead and do that now. In number 10, x1, y1, x2, y2. Our distance d is going to be equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So using our values x2 and x1, we'll have 0 minus 6 squared plus y2 minus y1 negative 6 minus 2 squared. So that's going to be the square root of 0 minus 6 is negative 6 squared plus negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8 squared. Negative 6 squared is 36, and negative 8 squared is 64. So the square root of 36 plus 64, well, 36 plus 64 is 100. So we have the square root of 100, which 100 is a perfect square. So the square root of 100 is 10. So 10 is our solution in number 10. Now, if you didn't do so before this problem, click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Continue on the next video where I'll complete numbers 11 through 20.